Hi everyone, hope you're doing good. Welcome to the another video on Swift interview series. Today's question is regarding high order function map. This would potentially be asked for mid to senior level candidates. Assume Apple has not come up with a map function yet. Can you create your own map function? Let's get started. Before jumping to the solution, just take a pause and think what you're required to do here. This question is not just about writing a function, but this is to test if you understand closures, generics, current high order function map, loops, etc, etc. So in just one question, interviewer might ask a lot of things from you. Before jumping to the code, let's look at the current map function. What exactly map function means? What exactly map function does? So if you go as per the definition, the map function works by performing an operation on all the elements of a collection. What do you mean by performing operation on all the elements of a collection? So here we mean the map function works by performing whatever we want to do, addition, subtraction, conversion, whatever we want to do on the elements of an array and returning a new collection with the results of that operation. So basically using the map function, you're trying to iterate through an array, perform some kind of operation. It could be anything. You could be doing some kind of arithmetic operation. You would be converting the objects or anything, right? And then getting a new collection out of that current existing array. So this is what map function does. Now let's look at how this map function is currently implemented. Okay, let's look at a very small example of map function first, current map function, and then we'll go through our own implementation. So let's say we have an sample array. Let's say the values are one, two, three, four. And we just want to multiply each and every element of this array by two. So how we could do it using the map function, we could simply, okay, let's print this output. Print sample array dot map, and let's pass a closure. I just want to multiply each and every element by two. So I'll say dollar zero asterisk two. So if I print this closure, the output, you'll see that each and every element of this array, sample array, is multiplied by two, two, four, six, eight. It's not just about the multiplication, right? I could do some sort of, let's say, uh, addition. So each and every element would add two in its own value. So you'll see the output three. So one plus two is three, two plus two, four, five, six, right? So this is two. I could even, let's say, subtract two. So this is just about the arithmetic operation, right? Another example could be, let's say these are, uh, this is not an integer array, right? Let's say this is some sort of a string array. So one, two. Now, if I want to just uppercase all the values of this array, right? So how could I do it? I could simply say dollar zero dot uppercase. Now, if I print it, You'll see the values are uppercase. So this is how the current map method works. Now the interviewer is asking you to write such a method which could give the output whatever I pass, right? So if I want to do some kind of arithmetic operation, I should be able to do, do the arithmetic operation. If I want to play on strings, right? I could play on strings. So that is something we need to write. So first, we need to understand the requirements here. Art map method. So if I talk about the requirements, right? So the requirements are first, it first, it should be able to work with int float strings etc etc. So it means we cannot take one concrete type, right? So this concrete type would not solve a purpose. It means we have to use generics. So, okay. So the first thing to our requirement is generics. We have to come up with generics. Okay. Second, now here, if you look at the current map method, right? Dollar dot uppercase, or when I was doing some kind of arithmetic operation, I was passing multiplication, subtraction, addition, whatever, right? So it means the value, the power is in the hands of the programmer. The power is in the hands of the developer. Whatever the developer wants to do, that exactly is being happened, right? So that particular method is not doing anything. In fact, it is just 
executing this statement which is passed by the developer it means we can bring closures into the practice here to solve this problem right so we can use closures and then using the closures we could solve this problem okay without wasting further time let's go and look at the code how we can write our own map method so let's start with func let's say map and since we already talked about generic so let's say let's take t as a generic element now since we are trying to operate on a collection right so we are trying to operate on a collection so we want a collection to be inputted right as a parameter so let's take elements and the element would be of type t that's an array right because we are working on an array okay second thing what we need is uh, as i told right so the power lies in the hands of developers what they want to execute what they want to do so that's the closure so let's take a closure which would just transform the values what developer wants and this closure right it would just take an argument of type t the value of one uh basically the value of an array right and then it would just return the transformed value t right and this complete method would again return a new array as we said so that is what the requirement is so this is how the definition of the method looks like so we have a map method we have generic here we would have elements here right the elements of array type t we would have a closure transform it would have one parameter type t it would return type t and then this entire method map would return the array of type t okay so now what we need to do uh okay let's take one more placeholder results which will hold the result which we would return from this method and let's assign it with an empty array so in this case we just want to have a results type t array which would just hold all the iterations or the new values and just return via this method map okay let's return results so that we don't get the warning now what we are trying to do right so we basically want to iterate or operate on all the elements of an array so when we want to operate or iterate on all the elements of an array we can make use of the loops right so if i say for for element in elements so this is the elements parameter which holds all the values of an array and we want to have each and every element of an array right we want to have each and every value of an array so that we could perform some operations simply what we have to do is results dot append and then here this is the most tricky and the most important part here now what you would append here right so assuming you are printing print map right and then you have the elements one two three and what you want to do is you want to as we saw it with the initial or the native map method we just want to multiply each and every element by two so now what's happening here right i have already provided the elements i'm iterating through the elements on line number nine we have this closure transform right and inside the closure the developer has already passed what exactly developer is trying to do here he's trying to multiply each and every element by two so why not we just execute this closure right so if i just call this closure from here and just pass the value element in that case this closure would go this particular line would go and execute this closure and return the new value t which i was talking about here on line number seven and then the result would append the new value so now if i just talk about one to one right so here are what would happen we would have one two three here in the first case we would have one right in this line number 10 results dot append transform element so here we're trying to execute a closure this transform closure would get called dollar zeros value is one for the first iteration and one multiplied by two is two so it will go and append two to the results so for the first iteration the output is something like this for the first iteration is two now let's come to the second iteration the next value is two we get two here result dot append we execute the transform closure it's two dollar zero value is two two into two is four 
so we'll get four here and for similarly for the third value three and then it's three here results that append we execute the closure again three into two is six so we would get six so the output would be a new array two four six if i just go and print run this method you would see the output as two four six similarly now since it's a generic method right and the power lies in the developer's closure so it's if it's arithmetic calculation right and if i just want to do some kind of addition if i just print you would see three four five if i just want to subtract two from each and every value it's minus one zero one right assuming let's talk about the strings here right if it's if it's one let's say two and i want to just uppercase all the values right uppercase now if i run this you would see all the values are uppercase in this so it's pretty simple and straightforward we just need to understand how the current map method works and how we could just use to our benefit and write our own map method i hope you like today's video if you like it please let me know thank you so much